If you are interested in stories with happy endings, you will be better somewhere else. In this story, there is no happy ending, no happy beginning, and very few things that happen in the middle. My name is Lemony Snicket, and it's my solemn duty to tell you the story of the Baudelaire orphans. Violet, Klaus, and Sunny Baudelaire were intelligent children. They were charming and had pleasant facial features. Violet, who was the eldest Baudelaire child, was 14, right-handed, and had a knack for inventing things. I don't know how I made this. I just was hitting stuff, and this happened. Klaus was the middle child. He was the only boy, and he wore glasses. He was very intelligent and loved reading books. Hey, a lot of people like reading books, okay? Sunny was the youngest. She is very small, and she spoke in a series of gaggling, babbling noises and stuff like that. But she made it up with the size of her four sharp teeth. <laughs> no, Sunny! Sonny, stop biting Dwight K. Schrute, okay? At this particular moment, Sonny probably meant something like this. <laughs> Click off this video right now and think the Baudelaire's had a very nice happy ending. Mr. Poe from the bank. What is he doing here? It's like banking hours. If he's here, he's probably not going to get paid. Ay ay ay. How do ya do? Very well, I think. Okay, that's good. Um, I have some very, very bad news for you children. Your parents have perished in a terrible fire. They perished in a fire that destroyed your entire home. Perished means you know what perished means. Can't you see we're going through rough times here? Okay, so you will be living with me until we can find you a new guardian. Okay. Are you having mood swings or something? No, I do ask. Okay, how about you come with me in my car now? <gasps> okay. Is, I think he's actually having mood swings. Let's go. Mr. Poe, I think you're breaking the speed limit. Okay, that I'm breaking the speed limit. I break it every single day. Okay, so I have finally found a new guardian. His name is Count Olaf. He is an actor. So you know his excitement when he has you is very genuine. So you should probably start packing now because you're leaving tomorrow. Okay, does that mean we'll get our room back? You are sleeping in your room. You do know that. You're just gonna have your room to yourselves. Again. Oh, okay. So start packing, please. Okay. Okay, for your information, we are sleeping on couches. You do realize that. Oh, hello, children. My name is Justice Sprouse. That's a funny name. <sighs> How dare you? But anyway, it's just my title. You seem like such lovely children. Oh, that's nice. Are you Count Olaf's wife? Oh. Oh, no. To be honest, I don't even know him that well. He's my neighbor. He lives over there. Oh. What a very interesting house. It looks like it could do a lot of work. You children better get going to see Count Olaf, though. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. Okay, yeah, we should probably go. By the way, I'm Mr. Poe from the bank. Here's my business card. You better go to Mulcherary Money Management. Hello, children. I am Count Olaf, a famous actor and your new guardian. Come in and mind the mud. Wipe your feet on the mat, please. Welcome to my humble home, children, and man with a hat on. Oh, my name is Poe. I work at the bank. Oh. Okay, so I understand my house is not as nice as your old one, but maybe with some of your money, we will be able to fix it up. Oh, the Baudelaire fortune is used for no such causes of that. We have money! Yes, you can use it when you come of age. Oh. So, you could go now. Okay, bowlers, remember, you could reach me at Mulchuary Money Management anytime. Okay, just go, go. Okay, now he's gone. It's time for the tour. This is my living room. Over here's the kitchen. Five minutes later. Out of all of the many bedrooms in my house, I have chosen this one for your safety and comfort. But there's only one bed. So, there's three of us. You can share this bed. And also, um, the kindness of my heart, I gave you an elastic band in jumbo size. You're welcome. Now, I'll be right back with something. I call bed. How is it? There's no mattress. Oh, well, if you call bed, I call blanket because then Sunny needs a place to sleep, so I guess she'll have the blanket and I'll sleep with her. But I don't have a blanket. You said you called bed. I'm back, and do you know what I have? A list? Wrong. It's a list. A list of chores. I bet you little brats have never done one chore in your life. Actually, we often help around the house. Actually, we often help around the house. I do not care. Do these chores, please. And I don't care about saying please. Although I just said it. Um, it surely can't be that hard, right? Let's look. Oh, wow. This is a long list. It's like bigger than me. It's in my eye. Um, that's a very interesting list of chores. What does it say? Redo the porch. Chop wood. What is this? I don't know. But maybe let's just start. Three hours later. Why are you laying around? You have chores to do. You finished them. Um, no you didn't. You forgot one. Cook dinner for me in my theatrical troupe. But you just added it. And we don't know how to cook dinner. Well, figured it out or something. I don't know. Make sure you cook a good dinner. Oh, yeah. Let's just go by Justice Strauss's house. She'll teach us how to do stuff or something. Okay. Oh, hello, children. What would you like? Um, we need a cookbook. Oh, are you cooking dinner for Count Olaf? Yep. Oh, that's nice. Let me go get a cookbook in my library. 
I have one. Let me go get it. Okay, I'm back. You could go look through it and see what you would like to cook, okay? This one looks good. It's called Pusha Push Kanishka. Let's do this one. I think we have all the ingredients. Just a strauss. Yeah. Do you have pasta sauce? Oh yeah, I do. I'm gonna go get it. Okay. Let's make push to push Kanishka. Okay, let's go. Goodbye, children. I feel good. <laughs> okay, I give up on singing. Me too, come on, let's go. Oh, we're done? Okay, let's go to the dining table. Okay. After a show, you should applaud. Um, that was a show? How dare you? Okay, so we need dinner. What are we supposed to do then? Um, we could wait. No, we can't wait. Okay, oh, okay. Okay, expect a good dinner. Okay, start making it. That was interesting. Okay, we finished making the push to push kanishka. Wait, where's the roast beef? We didn't make any roast beef. Yeah, we'll just have to take out for dinner because there's no roast. So just go to your beds. Don't you mean our bed? What do you mean? We only have one bed. How dare you? As punishment, this is what will happen. <coughs> Gasp. Oh man, that was disgusting. Oh. <laughs> what? happened but seriously you are disgusting okay let's go you broke the table in half man let's go okay okay